Hello and welcome to Our Farm Journey Taz again. Uh, now, having grown up in the UK in the 80s and the 90s, I was brought up on a diet of Australian soap operas like Neighbours and Home and Away. So I knew that when I moved to Australia, my life would mostly be about relaxing by the beach in the sun. You know we belong together You and I forever and ever No matter where you are You're my guiding star And from the very first moment I saw you I never felt Just to know you are there, you are there. Hold me in your arms, don't let me go. I want to stay forever, all the way with you each day. Let me be the one. Hello and welcome again to Upper Esk. After yesterday's excursion to the seaside, we thought we'd better get busy doing some work on the grounds to repair some of the damage the flood has done. So behind me, you can see Paul and our friend Ryan, who has kindly come to help prepare the chainsaw to chop up some of this wood from these fallen eucalypt trees that were felled by the flood. Um, also today, we're gonna start repairing the chicken coop, um, which was damaged by the flood. I'm gonna be moving some rocks from the lower paddock up to the house. They were washed into the lower paddock by the flood and we're going to repurpose them around the house as some building material. Um, and you'll also probably see Karen doing some work on the wisteria outside the chicken coop, um, which has still got a lot of flood debris in it, so it needs cutting back so that it can flower next summer. Um, so I'll take you around the farm and you can see what we're up to. So behind me over here you can see the chicken coop um, and our friend Steve who is kindly helping us remove a lot of the thistles. Um, when the property flooded the river brought up a lot of thistle steeds which are a declared weed here in Tasmania um, so we're having to pull them out before we can start rebuilding the chicken coop which as you can see um, took a bit of a hit during the flood. So obviously it might seem a little strange that one of the first things we've done is to remove some plants from the land, but two of the plants, the yucca and the false cypress that you saw Paul taking a chainsaw to earlier, are non-natives. They're not native to Tasmania. And on top of that, they were growing very close to the house, which is obviously not great for the structural integrity of the house, um, but also could cause a problem in summer if they start to harbour tiger snakes, which is obviously not great for us or the dogs or any of the other animals that we're hoping to get. The other plant that you saw me taking a chainsaw to was the wisteria near the chicken coop, which we're going to keep because in summer it will provide some shelter and some shade, um, as well as some lovely blossoms. And even though it's an American native, it's very pretty. It's far away from the house and we can afford to take it quite far down to the roots um, to enable it to put out new shoots next summer. Mm -hmm. 